Today, I'm just back from a long trip, and Lori said that there is a ton of baby snakes at half. But she didn't want to make it easy on me, so she said she hit them all over the rep there. I see one in the gift shop over here, so let's go see. And it looks like this is actually a normal ball python that was bred to a Lori banana. And right off the rip, you see we have a couple normal ball pythons here. No big deal. But what's interesting is it looks like all three of the bananas are actually banana Lori. Now, that banana Lori makes that darker pattern, almost like a banana sinny, but these are actually banana Lori ball pythons. Once they shed, they're going to be absolutely spectacular. So I know a ton of baby snakes have. I have no idea how many there are, so let's just keep looking. Taking a break from looking for pythons, and I'm actually going to look at some baby colubrids that are hatching. These guys are just coming out. Look at that head right there. Look at that head. This is actually what they call a tiger scaleless corn snake, and there's only one out. So this entire clutch is tiger scaleless corn. It's a tiger scaleless corn. So every one in this clutch is going to be a tiger scaleless. Absolutely ridiculous looking. Baby snakes galore, but the exciting thing today is Mike is back. Yay. Yay. Mike, how's your voice? Say something. Fine. I don't know. What do you want? Sounds weird, doesn't it? I mean, you sound a lot more feminine than you used to sound. You better not be in the uh, auto tune going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, it's great to have you back, but I hate to have your first day back. This, uh, but I have some really horrible news I've got to share with you. What is? It? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you later on, but it's it's not good. So uh, just go back to work. I'll, I'll get you later. Okay. <laughs> Well, this is a pretty easy one to find right here. Just sitting on the fish box. Let's see, what do we have here? This is a normal, a banana lorry pinstripe. So again, another banana lorry type of thing. And it looks like we do have one banana lorry right here, which again, it's just a two gene animal banana lorry. We have normals here. We have, looks like a normal banana here. Nothing too special there. Pretty cool. I mean, listen, bananas are still cool. You gotta remember when bananas were first produced, they were like $63,000. Now they're relatively cheap. It's cool. We got a normal pinstripe right here. We got a normal pinstripe here, which of course we produced the very first ones. And when they were first out, they were $25,000, believe it or not. Then we have a couple lorry ball pythons here. Look how different these two look. This one's got a really cool stripe to it, whereas this one almost has what they would call a black back to it. And then all we have here is a banana pinstripe. Doesn't look like it's a lorry to me. It's possible when it sheds out, we'll get an opportunity to see. But hey, that's two clutches down. I don't know how many I'm looking for. Let's keep looking. This clutch is just hatching out, but it is really special to me. And these are actually leucistic Texas rats that are head for scaleless leucistic Texas rats. And the reason it's so kind of special to me is that when I was first starting out in reptiles, I, look at this guy biting me. When I was first starting out in reptiles, scaleless Texas rats were one of the mutations that were kind of one of the most sought after ones. They were only about 300 bucks, but you got to remember back then there weren't a lot of snakes that were $300. So the first time I got a pair of leucistic rat snakes, it was really kind of amazing. So every time I produce, no matter how many years it is, I just still get that nostalgic feeling when I was young saving up for that $600 pair of snakes. Shoe head. What? What's, what's the bad news? Oh, you still haven't, my dad still hasn't told you yet? No, dude, what's going on? Uh, it's, it's really just sad. It's honestly devastating. The end of an era. That's all I have to say. What happened? But when legends die, you know, they really live forever. So it's not that big a deal. He hasn't told you yet? No. Still hasn't told you? Yeah, I missed him. What's the bad news? I, I... <laughs> <laughs> Lori, you're not that crafty. You can hide things a little bit better. When I hide things on the boys, I definitely do a much better job of it. Let's see what we have here. It's cool because I don't even know what's at. Every clutch we find is like a mystery to me. It's actually a firefly het ghost bred to a champagne that is het for ghosts. So what we have here is what they call a mimosa, which is a ghost or a hypo. Champagne, possibly a hypo as well. And it looks like we've got just a normal champagne here, possibly a fire. Look at this one here. This is actually the firefly here, which, which is a ghost and a hypo, which looks absolutely incredible. Look at how much pattern. This champagne has on it. Wow, that thing is absolutely adorable. We've got a little pastel ball python here. We've got a fireball python right here. And then it looks like we have this is a pretty interesting animal here. I'm trying to think what it is. It definitely looks like a pastel champagne, possibly a pastel hypo champagne, or what they call a pastel mimosa. And it's actually even possibly a fireball python. Once these guys shed, I'll have a lot more understanding of what it is. I really like this one. I love champagnes, but when you get the pattern to it like that, food dog, that is absolutely beautiful. Let's keep looking. Oh, look what we have here. What we have here is some tea positive house snakes. Look at how cool these guys are. And these are little African house snakes. Absolutely wonderful little snakes. But these are actually what they call T positive albino. So they look a little bit more hypo-ish. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like we've got a couple more in the egg. Or wait, let's see if there's any more in here. Hide now. Let's see. But we do have a couple more eggs that are due to hatch here. So it looks like we have three out now and maybe two more to hatch. On you, baby season is amazing. Do you want McDonald's or no? No McDonald's, man. I can't get. Eat, how am I supposed to eat McDonald's when there's all this terrible news going around? It is such bad news. I know. You're gonna eat? I'm, I, I am feel sick to my stomach. About the bad news? Yes, dude. 
I mean, I did cry a little bit, but I mean, at the end of the day, I still. I'm just more worried to. about Mike than not anything. He's just, Mike doesn't know yet. No. No. How would Mike know? This he doesn't even have good. a phone. Does Mike really right now not know the bad news? No. No, he okay. doesn't have a signal where he lives. Wait, what? So you don't know the bad news. No, bad news. what bad news? Oh, there's no. no, there's not really, it's not really. No, it's actually horrible. horrible. You just told me it's detrimental. It is de it's like detrimental. Ad ad astrometal. That's what I said. You said detrimental. Uh, detrimental. No, it's detrimental. There's no S. <laughs> it's not detrimental. Detrimental. No. What, am I getting fired or something? <laughs> Way, Way worse than that. Oh, crap. All right, so those were the three easy ones. I don't see anything in cushions. Oh, she didn't hide them, like on top of cages or something like that. See, you just gotta keep looking around, keep looking around. Oh, we got one over here. We gotta come this way, guys. Over here. I miss, these I miss these animals so much. It's so good to be back. As much as I love traveling and seeing other people's animals, I love seeing my own animal. What do we have here in Perdita's cage, of course? Oh, this is interesting. This is a Mojave female. Right to a banana enchi bongo that's half for clown. Oh my goodness. Look at some of these animals what here. What we have right here is actually a banana bongo ball python. Wow, look at this right here. That is actually a banana enchi Mojave possible bongo which is just unbelievably stunning. This looks like we have a banana Mojave, which has beautiful blushing in it. And again, here's another, definitely a banana Enchi Mojave. This is the one that looks like it doesn't have bongo in it, just the Enchi banana and Mojave. Wow, that thing is beautiful. And then we have just a little Mojave here. Looks like right here we have an Enchi Mojave. This animal here, really pretty. Look at this one too. This is another Enchi Mojave here. Wow, I love the way that combination is hooking up for sure. Just another little Mojave here. And then it looks like we have just a couple banana ball pythons. This one here is actually a banana enchi ball python. So, wow, that was a ripper of a clutch. Let's keep looking. This is fun. Uh, next up, we actually have scaleless Texas rat snakes. Ooh, doggy. I tell you what, these things are gorgeous, and there's some pretty ones in here. Once these guys shed and get a little bit of size to them, the color starts coming through. And look at this one right here. Look at that little head right there. That one hasn't quite hatched out yet, so it's still coming out. That's amazing. Scaleless Texas rats are recessive mutation. Absolutely wonderful snakes. Lots of baby snakes. Let's get back to the python scavenger hunt. Looking in all the enclosures just to see if there's anything going on. I think that I might have gotten the majority of this side here. Definitely. I figure for sure she put something in snap and pop, but she did. Brillo, it's just so exciting. I tell you what, it is so great to be back. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. Of course, we've got green tree python up in the corner, but we got the fogger going in here. Not tricky. Behind a tree, we got, let's see, a pinstripe to a dragonfly bamboo. Oh my goodness gracious. These are beautiful. First off, right off the rip, this is like a pastel, but look at how clean that pastel looks. Gotta be a vanilla, I think. So I think this is a vanilla. I think that's a vanilla vanilla pastel and then look at this one right here Woo -hoo -hoo. that's a beauty that's actually definitely a pastel it's a bamboo it's a pinstripe and it's a vanilla wow only two eggs in this clutch but that's beautiful i think i might have everything on this side well, let's check the party room really quick just to see just to make sure she didn't put anything in here doesn't look like it i don't see anything okay let's check drogo's cage real quick hey, look at drogo Hi, baby boy. Looks like he's been spending a lot of time because look at all the hair on the thing. He usually stays up in his other thing, but he seems to really be loving this. Don't see any baby snakes in here, though. I love you, Drogo. I'll come back and play with you in a minute, buddy. He is so adorable. Gonna give one quick look over in the gift shop just to make sure there's nothing back here. I don't see anything. Let's see. Oh, wait, I got one over here. Got one over here, guys. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a normal ball python bread to a banana super chocolate, which means everything has to be chocolate in here. So all these normals here, look at how gorgeous that is. That's a chocolate ball python. And we actually brought the very first chocolate ball pythons in way, way long time ago. So it was cool that we were able to work with them early on. They're really beautiful. And then of course the bananas, these have to be banana chocolate because with the super means everything in the clutch is chocolate. And then we have chocolates and banana chocolates, but look at how cool these are. Trust me, once these hatch out, banana chocolates, absolutely stunning. stunning. Not just colubrids and pythons hatching, we actually have geckos hatching as well. Look at how cute these guys are. They literally just came out today. Unbelievable. Looks like we have a little tremper here and a little normal kind of high tangerine there. And as geckos are hatching, I need to do a gecko. They let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do an entire gecko thing. We've hatched out so many leopard geckos this year. Let me know if you like that. Well, you're down there, hit that like button more for me and uh you know subscribe if you don't mind let's see if there's any other babies nope no babies in here you can see all these leopard guys will be hatching soon see what we have here oh yep we got some babies here oh look at all these cute little <gasps> Oh, it's so adorable. A little baby with just its head peeking out. Come on, little baby leopard gecko. Unbelievable.
unbelievable how freaking cool is that and then we have a bunch of look at this one wow this one is gorgeous right here look at the pattern or the lack of pattern on that one right there not exactly sure what the genetics are behind this because really jessica is the one that keeps track of all this stuff we have a whole bunch of stuff looks like we have Some super snows right here too it actually looks like this one's a super snow white and yellow and then a super snow possible white and yellow here so a lot of leopard geckos hatching too again if you guys want to see an entire leopard gecko thing let me know in the comments what what's the bad news no one's telling you yet nobody dude it's real bad you're gonna be real upset well, i don't know what it is i'm upset i'm home did you hear about the bad news yeah i did you know too yeah this <laughs> right what's going on well the bad news what's the bad news the bad news well listen it's something i can't really tell you i'm gonna have to show you okay let's go what's going on Ready, Mike? Oh. Look in here. What's missing? What's missing? What's missing? Chocolate tacos. Dude, they discontinued chocolate tacos forever. There's no more chocolate tacos in the entire world. Why'd you have to put that on me? <laughs> no! I win. Mmm. All right, let's check on the next side. Uh, right off the rip, it's pretty easy to find this one. Of course, it's with Al, my beautiful big old marine toad. Look at this sucker. He is so cool. Hey, buddy. Again, it's always nice to come home because it's like I get to see everything all over again. Oh, and weirdly enough, another banana lorry clutch. What we have here is we look like a little pastel here. Looks like a banana. Looks like a couple more bananas. So our odds aren't very good on this clutch, but look at this one. This is a perfect example of a banana lorry. Got that big back saddle going all the way down. This is actually a lorry ball python here. And then this is a lorry ball python here. And then just a couple normal ball pythons. So again, a lot of lorry stuff hatching while I was gone. Gone, gone, gone. Continuing on with the search, make sure nothing's in Bowser. I wouldn't imagine she put it in the actual enclosure. Here, we got another one over here behind Bowser. Let's see. This is oh, this is actually interesting. This is actually a normal to a mystery, right? So we're trying to figure out what that mystery gene is. So let's see what is in here. Ooh, this is interesting, isn't it? So this was a pinstripe. So obviously the mystery has pinstripe in it. Let me see here. This is really bizarre, guys. Okay, right off the rip. And this is gonna be interesting because we've got a few other clutches like this. This was 11 eggs. Every single one of them pinstripe. Makes you wonder. Is there a chance that the mystery gene happens to have something to do with the super pinstripe where everything is turning out pinstripe? The odds of producing 11 pinstripes out of 11 eggs, almost impossible. But look at this pinstripe right here. This is definitely not a normal pinstripe. There's something going on in it for sure. That looks really different. This one here, really different. Look at the head on that. Nothing like a normal pinstripe. So that's interesting. Looks like another one here that looks really weird. The head pattern is weird. The body pattern is weird. Definitely some interesting things going on here in this clutch. So this isn't as extreme as I was expecting, but it definitely is showing me something that that mystery gene's got something going on potentially even a super pinstripe did we just prove that there's a super pinstripe with this mystery clutch i don't know this is actually a lemon blast here a pastel and a pinstripe which means the mystery animal i bred had pastel in there's no doubt about that but you can see the pinstripe looks very different than a normal lemon blast but then look at this one look at all of the granning see this is what i'm talking about the mystery gene for some reason has all this granite and all this speckling in it very very interesting definitely didn't answer all my questions but it definitely brought some more it didn't answer all my questions but it did bring up some new questions that i have i'm gonna have to raise this whole clutch up and everything we produce we're gonna eventually figure out this mystery gene that clutch blew me away that was one that i literally wasn't even thinking about would be hatching when i was gone i actually wanted to cut that clutch to be honest with you but uh nevertheless that was wild it just my mind is going crazy now with all this still looking for some more eggs here that it, oh, oh oh looks like snaz is ready to eat i'm gonna need some keys all right let's go see Snazzy, i'm not feeding you buddy i'm not feeding you there you go what do we have whoa Sheesh, oh Pete. Came at me a little crazy. It's okay, Snaz, but I'm not feeding you. You can see his eye. Oh, look at him. His eyes are dilated. He is definitely going. I think that the white of the box. Actually, he's thinking that maybe it's like a rabbit or something like that. What do we have here? We have actually a pinstripe to a pastabi okay, orange okay. dream. So right off the rip, we definitely can see this animal here is actually a pastel orange dream. So that's beautiful. Looks like we've got a lemon blast. Looks like we've got a pastel jigsaw. Possible orange dream there. Then other than that, we just have a normal. We 
have a pinstripe, we have a normal Mojave, a normal Lemon Blast, and another normal. So only a couple orange dreams in this clutch, but not bad. Gosh, there's so many cool babies. And I honestly don't even know how many clutches are hidden. So we gotta just keep on looking. We had some coral snow corns that actually hatched out and just shed out. And they are beautiful. These are those white snakes that turn pink when they get bigger. Wow, these things are ridiculous. Then take a look at this. This is actually an Ultramel Ghost Tessera corn snake. So we got some really cool corn snakes hatching. Then you guys might remember the palmetto corns that hatched out the day we left. They've shed out and look absolutely incredible. But when you come back from seven, eight days gone, you get to see all the animals again. It's so darn exciting. So I hope I find them all. I hope Lori counted how many clutches she hit. If not, there might be some clutches just hanging out here for a while. Oh my gosh. Lori, what are you thinking? Look at there's alligators on top of the actual snakes. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, buddy, don't bite me. No, 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 get down, get down. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down. Oh. Get, get down. Oh, I tell you what, those alligators are feisty little monkeys, there's no doubt. Whoa, hoo hoo. I tell you what, that was a close call on that one. <laughs> Good job, Lori. I, actually, I, I commend you on that. I would have hit something in there too. What do we have here? We just have a normal bread to a Silver Streak Bamboo Walma. So interesting. Ooh, look at how pretty that is right there. I'm not even 100% sure, because look at the head stamp on it. That's a weird one, because this is a normal bumblebee here, right? So this is what a bumblebee would look like normally. And then this one looks way cleaner. So there's got to be another gene going on here. And then, of course, we have what looks like a pewter Woma right here. So it's a black pastel, a pastel, and a Woma ball python. Then this is a really interesting animal. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. We got a little pastel, got a lemon blast, and we got a couple more pastels. So we had a couple really beautiful animals in here. One that I don't even know what it is because that thing is gorgeous. I mean, it potentially could just be a really pretty bumblebee, but having it that clean is hard. And that's what happens when you start getting into four and five gene animals. Sometimes there's another gene in there, like a vanilla or an enchi or something like that, that you don't identify. And then when you start producing the babies, you go, oh my gosh, but nevertheless, beautiful babies. Okay, here we go. Continuing the hunt. Gosh, I tell you what. Being gone just makes you appreciate your animal so much. Hi, Bella. How you doing, baby girl? Oh, she is so amazing. Ah, uh, let's see here with the blue race. Doomerol's book. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Look, glory. She put it in with the Goliath birdie. I'm gonna just really gently open this. This is an animal I don't wanna muck with. There's no doubt about that. Okay, don't move, don't move, don't move. Ah, we got it. <laughs> that was actually pretty sketchy. What do we have? Oh, a lesser to a pastel hidden gene Woma. Oh, wow. There's some good babies in here. Remember the soul suckers when you hit the hidden gene Woma to the lesser? Well, these are the soul suckers here. This is a normal soul sucker here. And then this is actually a pastel soul sucker. Looks like we have another pastel soul sucker right here. So we hit good. We hit three soul suckers, two of which would be pastel. Then we have just again, a lesser here. We have a pastel. Looks like another little pastel here. And then a normal lesser here, which, oh, this is actually a pastel lesser. And then it looks like we've got two pastel hidden gene Womas right here. And you can see that hidden gene Woma, how busy the pastel Pattern is. And it's again, a Lelic with Lesser and also Het Russo in order to produce some really beautiful soul sucker stuff. That's amazing. Uh, let's keep searching. Take a look at the little Azurus. These are that electric blue color poison dart frog. Absolutely love them. Definitely no eggs in there though. Two-headed turtles all doing good. Oh my God. Frosty over here starting to get some dead off, which is good. No eggs over here. Gotta look at butterscotch. Thank gosh she didn't put anything with butterscotch. I'm not liking that. Gemma. Sunrise. But look around in here just to make sure there's nothing over here. Getting down to the end here. Of course she put it. Ah, but you know, I bet you when she put it in there, Lucy was probably sitting right over here. Now Lucy's over in the corner, so this shouldn't be hard at all. She's not that fast of an animal. Lori, I know you thought that you were smart, but this time I think I outsmarted you, or actually I should just say I got one. Ooh, this is cool. This is actually a pastel bread to a banana enchi lesser. This is actually a pastel to a banana lesser enchi pastel bongo. Wow, that's gonna be cool. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, look at this. Wow. What in the world? That's actually, that's a banana. I don't know. It's got a cool pattern to it. Not sure exactly what that. I'm going to have to wait till that one sheds out. So we just got some pastels. We got some other banana stuff. But it doesn't look like we had that many cool combinations. Just some really cool uh, normal pastels, banana stuff like that. This is really the, the animal that I'm in love with. Wow. I tell you what, there has been some amazing animals that hatched out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.